Hello, my witchy friends. It's Audrey here at Stay Magical. I have a couple videos I'm going to do today. I actually have to be at work at 3, so it's a little bit after 1. So we will get these going. Um, I may film one on the way to work because I just want to talk about the new year and, and what's in it for us all and that type of thing. But I'm going to start off today with the Ink Goddess Creation Box. This is the January 2019 box. So let's see what's in it. I think fandom was the, the topic, but I can't remember what the names are. Well, I should have scissors out for the next one. I hope everyone's been doing well. I have gone off and on with having different kind of like sicknesses and things. Witchy fandom. And hopefully it is past that now. Okay. So we're going to start with the card. We won't read the back, though. It says, January 2019. Through the ages, our favorite witches of the big and small screens have been last, have made lasting impression on us as children, teenagers, and adults. This month's box takes us on a nostalgic journey to honor those witchy pop icons who made their way into our hearts. How pretty. And don't look at my nails. I have not had them done. I have got to get that done. So the first thing I see, this was sitting on top. Oh, okay. And this is a mind, body, spirit spell. So let's find that on here. Um, da -da 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 I don't need oh. I don't Oh, no, this, yes, 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 it is here. It's a simple visualization spell inspired by our favorite charming witchy witch sisters to unite the mind, the body, and the soul. So basically, it's a card. Your little bag. If I can get it open. Yes, okay, so we have the little card. And it, I guess it's inspired by their charming, the charming sisters. So what is this? Oh, I can smell that. I'm not really sure what's in it. It's leaking, though. Um, um, it is geranium, black pepper, and neroli. That's different. I'm not putting it back in there because it's leaking. Okay, so it's there's a um, there is a spell, and it says um, the tools you'll need is um, the symbol on the front of the card here, and the power oil, and you just it just tells you how to do this. It's, it is um, the simple visualization spell helps you you reunite unite your body, your mind, and your spirit to work together in harmony. So I may try that later. I'm gonna put that there. Like I said, I'm not gonna put it back in the little baggie because it was leaky. Now I get to go to work smelling like. Uh, oh, there's all kinds of nice little things in here. Okay, so here's some cards. Okay, that's next month. You know, we'll wait for last one. Oh, this is really cute. This is more of a trinket box. That's kind of neat. Magical Musing of the Month in Numerology 2019 is a universal year, is a three universal year. Two plus zero plus one plus nine equals twelve. One plus two equals three. The number three symbolizes creativity, optimism, and expression. With 2019 being a three year, we can all expect an expansion in these qualities in ourselves. 2019 will also be a year of dynamic inspiration and movement. Prepare to be social to be more understanding and tolerant of others, and to let your inner child play this year. That's nice. It's got to be better than last year, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, the first thing I talk about is a tumbler cup, okay? And so I'll take that out. We are the weirdest weirdos, mister. Um, so that's cute. We are the weirdos. And it says, about the cup, we are the weirdos, mister, tumbler cup. 14 ounce double walled acrylic cup with favorite crafty movie quote. Where are the weirdos? I, I'm not sure I know what movie that's from, but I have to bring it off the top of my head. I don't. Okay, so this is a house magnet. Okay, and it says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Now we know where that one's from. Um, designed by Mystic Moon Media. Um, which is, you can find her at mysticmoonmedia.com. This two and a, a two and a fourth magnet, intermagnet, shows an adorable kit, uh, witchy familiar with a favorite wizardy quote. There are four possible color schemes. These magnets, for these magnets, corresponding to four scholarly houses depicted in the colors of the quote and the cat tie. Which house chose you? 
Okay, so oh, mine's blue and black, so I'll have to look that up. Or purple and black. Purple and black. We'll, we'll look that up. I, I do love the Harry Potter movies. I just don't know a whole lot about you know, like I, I don't remember this thing. I think this is just paper. It is. Okay, so now what's next? We have oh a necklace. Okay, see, are you a good witch or a bad witch necklace? These delicate and adorable necklaces feature the ultimate witchy question. A witch hat, charm, and a magic wand charm. Oh, oh, this is really cute. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Oh, let me if I make it higher, you can see it. It's got little things on it. Look, it's good. Okay, so mine has the mine has oh no it has both i see i see i see it has both i'm sorry i thought it was one or the other okay here's the here's the little wand and here's the little witchy hat and then it says are you a good witch or a bad witch i really like that i may have to wear this see i wear a, i have a talisman i wear all the time and i don't take it off because when i do bad things happen it's, it's right here and I always worry if I'm, it, it kind of gets mixed up with um, other necklaces. Okay, so now the other thing we have is we have a witchy sister's votive. It's not Halloween, but these witchy sisters have risen to steal the souls of the children for their potion for infinite life. Uh, which sister chose you to join her? Green votive is Winifred, rose cinnamon, um, red votive Mary, um, dark chocolate, honey, purple, Sarah, and black cherry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading this wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 So the green votive is Winifred. And that one is rose and cinnamon. I did not get that one. Okay. The red votive is Mary. Hers is dark chocolate and honey. And the purple, which is this one, is Sarah, black cherry and vanilla. That smells really good. I'm digging it. I was like, what is that on my desk? But it's that. It's that much. I know what that says. Okay, so now let's see what's next. Now the last thing we have in here is well, we have the spell kit already. Now we have a, a midnight margarita tea blend. Oh, how fascinating! Let's open. I can smell. I can smell lime and stuff. Okay, so let's read it. Um, a sample size of our refreshing magical blend of lime, mint, cucumber, and more that will have you dancing around the kitchen. Oh, that's really nice. I can really smell the lime. Okay, what does it say on it? If I can read it's got green tea, peppermint, cucumber, lime pieces, coconut, lemon peel, lime juice, stevia. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to order some of this. Lemon myrtle, lemon juice, sea salt. Oh, that just sounds lovely. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really a tea drinker, but that's good. So that was all. That's what's in this box. I love it. Love it. I love the fandom aspect of it. There's and and we do get a spell, so that's nice. So the spell was. Remember, I wasn't putting it back in the thing because it was. It's leaking a little bit. But this is the um, power of three spell. I didn't even see that right there. Okay, so there's the power of three spell. Okay, and this was created by the Ink Goddess Creations. So body, spirit, mind. I like that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Okay, so we got that, and we got the Tumblr, which says, We are weirdos, mister. I don't have my phone right here, otherwise I would have Googled. But if you know, put it in the comments. We are the weirdos, mister. And it's got sunglasses. And I'm, I'm sure I should know this. Like, I'm going to go, that's just silly that I didn't know that. Now, this one I know is from Stay Magical, because it's the Midnight Margarita Tea. This one is from... Mmm... This one is from um, Hocus Pocus, cause, and this one is from Harry Potter the Magnet. I really like that. Get that right there. Oh, no, it's not going to stick. Okay. And then we have the Musing of the Month about numerology, and then we have the the necklace, which I really do want to put on. I do want to put it on. I have a piece of coconut in my lap now. I really like this. So hopefully I can keep them from getting twisted together. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can. All right, so how does that look? This isn't the shirt I'm wearing to work. Oh, see, everything's back. Now, I did do my bangs to the side today, so I didn't have to fight them so bad. I'm trying to get them to grow out. If you wonder, why don't you just cut them? Well, I'm trying to get them to grow out and decide what I want to do with them. Okay, so 
without further ado, thank you for your Ink Goddess Creation Box purchase this month. Here is your early access to next month's theme, Flame of Love, February 2019. That should be pretty good. I think I'm going to enjoy that one. Um, I will tell you that this is the only witchy box subscription that I'm going to continue with into 2019. Everyone's talking about, um, I do have one more, um, I do have one more of the witches, but to be really honest with you, I can't, I mean, I just can't afford to keep doing that one. That one's like 50 some dollars a month and I'm helping out, um, my son. So, I mean, a lot of my money's going there. So I might have to do another financial spell. And I think I will. I think I will because I would like to have a little bit more um, disposable income. But I, I decided, everyone's talking about doing this um, depth year where you use what you have. So I am going to be doing that more. Um, I, I got everything to do my planner, which I haven't done a video on yet because I just, I'll be honest with you, I've been busy. I had, was sick. I was tired. And I just wasn't inspired. I think we all get that way. I would just... It's that type of the time of the year too, where I just am not inspired. And to be honest with you, I'm not that inspired with the planner yet either. So I'm working on that. Um, I didn't even film. See, that's one of the reasons why I decided not to get the moon box anymore. I didn't even film the unboxing last month of the Witch's Moon box, and it was nice stuff. But I just wasn't overwhelmed. I what I, I looked at it because I knew I was going to be a few days because I was sick, and so I went ahead and looked at it. And went, you know what? It, it, it's okay, you know. And that's all right. It doesn't always have to be amazing stuff in these boxes but if i'm going to spend 50 to 60 dollars i really have to have some use for the stuff but anyway so i'm going to stop the recording on this one and then turn around and record on the other one so i will see you in a few minutes and in the meantime stay magical 